Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Goblock Gaming. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for the last test content. So here we go. When we talk about hypercars, two independent brands stand head and shoulders above the rest. Pagani and Koenigsegg? Both are relative newcomers to the marketplace, yet both have established and proved themselves to be at the top of their game in their young histories. Having already driven the latest and greatest Pagani Huera, we pounced on Koenigsegg's invitation to take a look at the Koenigsegg of Jera R. Christian von Koenigsegg can best be described as an innovator, and this is what shines through most with the Koenigsegg at Jera R instead of relying on purchase parts from larger bulk manufacturing companies. Much of the at Jera R is bespoke and built in-house at the Koenigsegg factory in Angelo, Sweden. Koenigsegg has even developed the at Jera range with a unique in-house V8. The 5.0-liter V8 fitted to the Koenigsegg at Jera R weighs just 197 kilograms with flywheel, clutch, dry sump system, exhaust, turbo and manifold system all attached. An incredibly low weight considering the ferocious output. It is a strong system. Despite running at 28 bar of pressure, reliability issues are almost unheard of, even in the highest mileage cars. In total, the Koenigsegg at Jera R produces 960 horsepower on 95 octane regular fuel and 1140 horsepower running on 85 biofuel. Yet Koenigsegg will also be quick to point out that the engine passes worldwide emissions standards as well as maintaining a 16 mpg fuel economy rating. Power is routed to the rear wheels through a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. It combines a dry and wet clutch system for ultra-quick shifts. It is lighter, faster and more reliable than similar gearboxes. The ride is supple and smooth. Koenigsegg makes use of a triplex suspension system which adds a third shock absorber which links the individual systems fitted to each rear wheel. This has a number of advantages. Foremost. It allows the Ajera R to efficiently combat the squat effect caused by the mixture of extreme power and extreme grip at launch. It also allows for an optimal suspension geometry setup. When you first step into the Koenigsegg Ajera R it is hard to describe what you would expect. The Ajera R is wide. Precisely 2 meters wide to be exact. This width was chosen in order to match maximum allowed width for Lemons cars. This means that the Ajera R is slightly narrower than an Aventador or a Huera, but still wider than the P1, La Ferrari and the 918. Once inside, the cabin feels spacious, the curved windscreen offers a panoramic view to the outside world, and you have the feeling your behind must almost touch the street. The Ajera R also offers a surprisingly spacious seating position for tall people. Being 6 to most supercars feel like a sweater that is two sizes too small. In the Ajera R however there is plenty of leg and head room, even a helmet would have fitted without touching the roof. The seating positions are very close to the center of the car. The reason for this design is to obtain a smaller frontal area of the car as the side screens can be moved inwards. It also helps to get the mass in the center of the car. This is why most Lemons prototypes have this layout. Sitting so centrally in the car means there is a wide door sill to negate getting in and out. This, of course, is an acceptable price to pay in order to obtain maximum performance. Out on the runway. We were able to test the Ajera R's performance to the maximum. As you probably know Koenigsegg set a Guinness World Record for fastest production car to accelerate from 0-300 km h and break back to 0 in 21.19 seconds. We couldn't resist. 
we had to experience ourselves what it is like to do 0 300 km h then back to 0 again. After all, it is the incredible performance that makes the Koenigsegg Jera R so legendary. After a few warm up runs to get some heat into the tires, it was time to replicate the Guinness Book of World Record run. We stop at the far end of the runway. Foot on the brake, breath inch. 3, 2, 1, countdown inside the head and full throttle. First gear, second gear. 120 km h. Third gear. Fourth gear. 220 km h. Fifth gear. 300 km h. Not even driven to third of the runway. Hard on the brakes, even under extreme braking you can take your hands of the steering wheel and the Ajera R will still brake in a dead straight line. Just a few seconds later the Ajera R comes to a full standstill. The aerodynamics of the Ajera R have evolved to perfection. Early Koenigseggs were slippery in the aero department, designed for top speed with little by way of downforce at lower speeds. This was publicly pointed out by the popular TV series Top Gear, when the Stig drove a CCX into a tire wall at high speed before breaking the lap record with the same car. The Ajera R comes with a well thought out set of aerodynamic enhancements. The extreme downforce of the Ajera R allows for some serious high speed cornering. We have never experienced a car that stays so flat and has so much grip while doing a slalom at 240 km h you can feel the g-forces pulling your internals around with every turn of the steering wheel. Even at this extreme, the Ajera R seems to leave plenty in reserve. We never reach the point where the grip ends. The feeling of quality is also taken to extreme lengths with the Ajera R3 materials are fundamental to the interior of each car. Leather, aluminium and carbon fiber. Overall, we love the Koenigsegg Ajera R the drama and sheer speed are unmatched. Yet it feels every bit the quality product you'd expect at this price. The grip is phenomenal, the interior space surprised us and the look turns heads wherever you go. The excitement of the experience means that those who are lucky enough to own an Ajera R will feel that every drive is a special occasion. So that's all about Koenigsegg Ajera R. See you on the next video.